In this video, we're going to work on the Alex problem called constructing a scatter plot. This problem is going to give us a table of data, and it's going to ask us to plot that data on um, the graph down below. So here is the full data table and the graph. To plot the data, we're going to be using this pencil function on Alex. You're just going to click on this little pencil tool, and once you've clicked on that pencil tool, it'll allow you to click anywhere you want on this graph to just drop a data point. And wherever you click, there's going to be a data point that appears. If you make a mistake and you put a data point in the wrong spot, you'll just click on this eraser tool and then click on the data point that you want to remove. That's how it's going to go. Uh, so here's our data. The only thing you really need to pay attention to with this is make sure you're taking a look at your axes and you're plotting the data in the right spot. So this um, data point here is referring to the time spent watching TV, which is down here on the x-axis. That is a value of 2. So I want a data point that corresponds to 2 on the x-axis. And um, that is related to time spent doing homework, which is 14. 14 on the y-axis is that, that spot right there. So that is that first data point where this is our x, these are, are the x values and these are the y values. Our next set of data is going to be at x equals 5 and y equals 12. x equals 5 is right here and y equals 12 is right there. So that's going to be data point number 2. I'm going to mark those off because we finished them. Our next data point is x equals 7, y equals 9. Here's x equals 7 and here is y equals 9 right there. And then we have x equals 8, y equals 8. Here's x equals 8. And there is y equals 8. There's 8 on the y-axis, so there's that data point. Uh, next, we have x equals 11, y equals 3. Here's x equals 11. And there is 3 on the y-axis. So this data point goes right here. And our next data point is x equals 12, y equals 5. Here's x equals 12. Here's y equals 5. Looks like it goes right there. And then last but not least, we have x equals 13 and y equals 4.